Hi, my name is Liz Canto. I'm the Echo Apprentice here at St. John the Baptist Parish. I'm in charge of the youth ministry and social justice here. And over here we have... Oscar Marquina, a seminarian for the Diocese of Salt Lake City. And I'm doing my pastoral year here in Draper, Utah at St. John the Baptist. Perfect. I just thought that this would be a great time for us to kind of chat a little bit about what Drive Through Communion is. Oh, yeah. So Drive Through Communion started about a month ago. And it's to reach out to those who are specifically vulnerable to, to the coronavirus or those who are taking extra precautions and are not coming to uh, congregate in Mass. So we are offering, after the 11 a.m. Mass on Sundays, uh, the possibility to drive up to the church and receive the Eucharist. Awesome. So where do you go? Ah, I'm glad you asked. As the curtains go up, you'll be able to see that you'll go around the traffic circle and pull up to the side of the church, much like we see here. And where do you stop? Do you, do you just stop here at the, like by the office or? Good question. You'll stop by the side entrance of the church. So you'll keep going around this traffic circle and um, almost as if you were going to go back out, um, you'll see an entrance and you'll see cars lined up there. Awesome. And do you have to make a reservation to do drive through communion or? No reservation is necessary. It's not like attending Mass, no sign-ups. You just watch the Mass at home or in the parking lot if you live far away. And right after Mass, as soon as we turn off the live stream, um, an altar server or uh, an Eucharistic minister will come out with a bulletin and the Eucharist for you. Awesome. And is it during Mass, before Mass, after Mass? You'll see people receiving the Eucharist during Mass, but Red for Communion is immediately after Mass. Okay. And then which Mass is it? It's only the 11 a.m. on Sundays. Alrighty. Great. Thank you so much, Oscar, for taking yeah. some time to chat with us. No problem. Thanks, Father Tilly, for setting this up. Oh, yes. <laughs> He's the man. He is. <laughs>